here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the lure to this side. He doesn't know it, so he's gonna be all over the place, and that's okay. All right, so first thing, your marker is your clicker or your yes, good, sweet, oh yeah, whatever you want it to be, that's your marker. Um, your timing is so, so crucial. Now what a lot of people want to do is they want to only reward when the dog gets, right? <laughs> He's like, please reward. <laughs> they only want to reward when the dog gets here. And then the dog gets, ooh, the dog gets no reward for doing any of this other action behind us, just right here. So then pretty soon the dog's going to just want to sit like here, but like eh, crooked or whatever, not in a good position. Um, so we need to break it down. Dog training is all about breaking things down into t small, tiny parts. Not the whole big picture, forget about that, until the end, right? Like little inch by inch by inch. That's like how you dog train. So let's start out with him in the front. And everything we do is awesome, right? Everything, reward for everything because we're learning something new. All right, so first thing we need to do, <laughs> he's like, please reward, is we need to get him to go that way behind us. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to lure him behind us like this and we're going to click or mark or whatever okay and this part of training is boring you do it a lot so lure behind good so i'll show you from the side i want you to extend your arm out as far as it can go right so all the way back click and i don't care that he's crooked right now it's not about that it's about getting him to go behind me and there's a reward for that. Good, so I'm gonna start him out in the front, bring him back, good. So right now, this doesn't really look like it has anything to do with anything, but it does. It all comes together in the end, all right? So after you've done that, seriously, like 30 to 50 times, you're gonna not reward, you're gonna reward here. So it's a two-part thing. So I like to go part A, part B is how I explain this to people. And then C is the front finish. You want to reward all of it. Nope. So part A, we're going to reward. Good. And the, I got to give credit where credit is due. I got this from Larry Crone. It makes sense. But he got it from, I believe, Bart Ballone. Bart Ballone, I don't know how to say his name. Um, but whenever you get things from other trainers, always give credit where credit is due. Because it's just the right thing to do. Just do it. All right? So part A, and then bring it back to the front. And you don't always have to reward for part A. So like right, we'll skip it right now. So no reward, only reward part B. And his butt is wrapped around me a little bit. It's okay, he's learning, doesn't have to be perfect. And C, front finish. And I'm against the wall like this, so you can't really go that far. So we'll do it all together. A and B, good. All right, now the middle, right? Because people like it when Kaza goes boing, 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 boing. People like that. So what we'll do is we'll start him out here on the side. We'll reward that. Now he is super big. So I don't know if he's gonna be able to go like how Kaza does it, like flip around, but we'll try it. So she circles and then she circles again. But remember, you have to break things down into little parts. So you're not just gonna make them do the two, because it's really, it's circle, circle again. So you're not gonna um, expect them to do two circles with one reward, right? It's two circles with a ton of rewards. So he's gonna circle around and then he gets a random reward. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing it. Right? He's just trying to figure out anything right now. Good boy. All right, so we'll bring him into, oh, you're crazy. We'll bring him into here, reward. And I'm going to ask a little bit more of him. So I'm going to circle him, circle him around right there. And the goal is to get him to back up into my legs. Um, and he can do it at a fast speed. Sit! Down! Sit! Look how fast he is. He can do it fast. It's just a matter of being a little coordinated, which he's not. So we'll see how it goes. So we'll do this. Good. We'll work on this circle. We'll work on the circle right here. So circle, ask a little bit more. Oh, crazy. See, he's like, what the F is going on? 
See, and this is what I want to show you with dogs that don't know how to do it. Because this is real world stuff. So he's getting a little overwhelmed. So what does that mean? It means we need to back it up and do something easy. After he's done throwing up. You're gross. Come on. So we'll go back to this. This is easy. Good. Good job, Bunk. All right, and we'll do just a little circle because he's getting overwhelmed. Right? So he needs to face here to face forward to do his circle. So we'll come do this one again. And this, I would give give your dog like two months to learn how to do this because it's weird, it's advanced, and it, you have to work it a lot, and you got to be patient. So we'll do this circle. Good. And then he's already here, so we'll just circle him around. Come on. Good job. See, and that is pretty close. But it, it takes, like, momentum, excitement, timing. So, so he's like, I'm circling. Is that what I do? So we'll bring him here and around right there. See, and that's good. All right, let's go from the other side. Yeah, good boy. Ready? Heel. Good. So we'll reward that. Get your stance where you need to be. And remember, he has to do two circles. Nope. Come on. Heel. Heel. Good. All right, so he has to do a circle. So we'll reward that. Come on. Heel. Good. So a circle. Good. Heel. Good job. Circle. Come. On. And we'll ask more. Good. And that was like sloppy, but he's trying to figure this out, right? It's like a foreign language at first. Come on. Heel. So we'll do the circle. Good job. And I don't want him to spin all the way like that, but you know, he's doing pretty good. I know. This is weird. Good, so we'll do, we'll slow it down because he's getting a little overwhelmed. When they down like that, they're like, let me default something I know. Good, so we'll work on that circle. And he only has about three quarter cup of food in here. Um, you don't want to do too much, you don't want to push them. Let's do it again from the side, come on. Good, so reward, we'll do the circle. Good job, and I think that's all I have in here. Good job, Bunk! Boost! Boost! Good girl. Tommy!